What's going on fellas, Pro Knife Thrower here, and this funny angle that you're seeing today is because we're going to do a test. I was recently reading online that modern steels like M390 are much better than your simple carbon steels like 1095. And I beg to differ, so we're going to do a little test. This is M390, We've got a couple dings there in the edge, but we're going to basically focus right here. And this is a 1095 blade testing blade that I've beat up and tested and has a my heat treatment on it. So we're going to check this out. We're going to give some love taps in here with our blades. There's 11 hits and I broke the spine. Oh geez. That's um... Yeah, that kind of buggered it up, didn't it? So, I had a chip here, and then this is all rolled up and chipped up and all that. And the, the damage is here, and there's still a bit of that blade left in there. Now let's try 1095 next to it. And this is just the same similar edge geometry, maybe a little bit tighter, actually. And I'm going to focus right in here on a nice, clean, sharp part. I put 12 hits into that other blade, so let's... So there's 12 hits in my 1095 right there. And if you look at that edge, I can't feel that with my fingernail. Let me zoom out here. So that is 1095 with my heat treatment there is no bump in that edge you can see where that is so the summary of this guys is that hardness comes down to carbon and if you don't get your carbon hard your blade ain't going to be hard and then the next thing is going to be heat treatment whether you know it or not so don't buy into the gimmicks of designer steels being better